Hi, welcome to my final recital at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland. Right now I'm talking to you in my living room, but I was actually fortunate enough to record all my pieces in a local community centre, so this video will jump back and forth between the two. The first piece I'm performing is an unaccompanied piece by French composer Jérôme Naulé. This work is in two movements, the first entitled Appels, meaning calls. It opens with a quick quintuplet phrase, which is the call, and then is immediately followed by a more lyrical, melodic phrase, which I guess is seen as the response. And this sets up the theme for the movement as a whole. The second movement is called Mirage, which is a word we use in English, but essentially just means like an illusion. This movement took me a little bit more time to figure out, but from playing it I found that each phrase is completely different to the last phrase and it really is full of surprises, so I guess the message in this piece could be that things are not always as they seem. So I hope you enjoy Appels et Mirage by Jérôme Naulet. Thank <laughs> you. 
The next piece I'm going to play for you is the second in a series of three romances by Robert Schumann. These were originally written for oboe in 1849, but today I'll be playing the trombone adaptation. Schumann actually gifted these three romances to his wife Clara as a Christmas present, and he describes this second movement as simply intimate. And I really can feel the passion and love that has gone into this music. However, it's quite well known that Schumann suffered from some manic episodes, especially towards the end of his life when these were written, and I think this is evident in the sudden and quite haunting change of character in the middle section of this piece. going to finish my time at RCS with a staple in the trombonist repertoire which is Castoret's Sonatine. In his own words Castoret tells us that each movement of this piece brings forth a particular aspect of the trombone. 
the brilliance of sound in the first movement, projecting a gay, robust music with a vigour that is sometimes rugged. The softness and melodic continuity of the second that shows the trombone can sing with just as much sensitivity as a string instrument. And finally, the third movement, one hears an influence of jazz. Syncopated rhythms are superimposed over a chorale, tying together two very different aspects of this magnificent instrument. So thanks again for watching my final recital and a huge, huge thank you to Scott Mitchell for his amazing piano playing as always. Um, I definitely need to thank my teachers, Simon and Daver, for all of their encouragement and support, especially through these trying times. I've had a blast over the last four years and although the end to it was slightly unexpected, I'll always look back on my time at RCS with a lot of fondness.